If you're looking for a new case for your Note 9, then I've just purchased the Clearview official Samsung case. Um, I'm buying that to replace my Tozo case that I got from Amazon, which was about 10, 12 pound. Uh, this one cost 1,299 pesos. Yes, I am currently in Mexico City. Um, however, that translates to roughly about 50, 60 pounds. Let's see whether it's actually worth it. And while we're here, if you do like anything technology or camera related, consider subscribing to this channel for future content. So let's open the case. So this is the case. And as we can see, there's a sticker on the front showing you what it could look like through the clear display. Um, at the bottom, we've got a gap that will allow for the headphone port, the USB-C and the speaker um, to work. On this side, we've got a gap for the power button. Moving on to the other side. On this side, we've got the volume controls and a separate button for Bixby. And on the top, we've got a gap for the extra speaker. And if we have a quick look at the back, we've got gaps for the two cameras, the flash and the fingerprint reader and it's got a nice feel to the the back. It's kind of grippy which is soft but grippy so that should work well for hopefully not slipping out of your hands. So let's quickly open this up then. So that's just a demonstration on how to use the stand. Goodness knows what that is because it's in Spanish. So currently this is looking pretty dusty. I'm going to remove this as soon as I can confirm this is working. What's weird is you've got a little bit of a I don't know if you can see that circle area there, not sure what that is for. This is currently not closing with the protective layer that I have on at the moment. But as we can see, you can see through the display. And actually these buttons here um, aren't real buttons. It's kind of a, if you feel, it's kind of like a soft material. You're actually pushing through the material um, onto the button below. Um, I will have to let you know how I get on with that. But otherwise, everything seems to line up as you would expect from an official product. Ah, that's better. That's a lot better there. That's quite a satisfying clip. So let's do the test of the magnet. Oh, that's a shame it doesn't seem to hold it upside down um, now I must say disclaimer wise I'm not necessarily a fan of these flip cases um, it's just a situation that I have had a bit of naff luck with these um, screen protectors and I think it's down to the curve on the screen so I'm hoping this is gonna protect my phone as I need and only time will tell as to whether I get highly frustrated with it and have to find another case. And finally, let's do a quick screen test. If I hit the power button, we can see the screens come up and we can actually slide through this screen, uh, which is pretty nice. So um, that's great, that works. Um, and I like the finish of the case as well. I think it well, matches the blue of my phone. As you can see here, the case is quite thick. It adds a few millimeters to the top and bottom. Um, and if you compare it to my cheap Tozo case, um, we can see it is a little bit thicker. Um, now the Tozo had the little corner bits to protect, but otherwise it was fairly thin. This is certainly a lot thicker. So final test is Let's open this up and see how the stand works. So we have to pull and as you can see is there's some magnets here that keep that part of the case down and 
There we have it. Perfect. And so let's put the back. So we'll lift it up. So skipping forward a few weeks, I've been using this new case and I just wanted to give some feedback so you can know what to expect. In general, I really like the look of it. I think the front of the case in particular looks really stylish. However, the few problems I've had with it, and if you use flip cases already, you probably are aware of them. However, my previous case, I was able to just line my fingerprint up straight away to unlock the phone. Um, now, for some reason, you can't unlock this phone with the case shut. You have to open it up. And what that means is, you're holding the phone in a bit of a weird situation unless you're using two hands but your finger doesn't go straight up like it does with a normal case it generally uh, goes diagonally and that meant that my fingerprints weren't opening the phone or unlocking it initially um, so I've now kind of got the hang of unlocking it a different way but another alternative is you have to register a new fingerprint and register it sideways and that'll get around it um, but just a first little pain. The second one when you take photos, um, again the issue is, well, you're not going to have the screen shut because you can't see what you're taking and when you open it up you can't open it all the way back because you cover the cameras, which means you're left in a situation where you have to hold the phone like this with the case open and again that just makes it a little bit more awkward, a little bit more clumsy to hold. Also if you're trying to do uh, single hand photos or selfies, it's just awkward to use um, when compared to a case that doesn't have this flap. Um, so something to bear in mind if you haven't tried a flip case before. And finally the third thing, this isn't really a big issue but it's worth mentioning and that is um, your display on the front. Now personally I really dislike having the clock downwards like that. That's not how I read the time ever. I don't know why the display shows it like that. However, the first thing I did when I got the phone was I changed it to a normal format. And as you can see there, um, that's how I have it. However, when you get this case, because it's an official Samsung case, um, Samsung or the phone detects that you're using this case and it gives a different display. So your lock screen, although it's there, as soon as the case shuts, and as you can see here, I've actually got a nice little moon and a small time and that's kind of how I want to see the time. But when I close it and turn it back on, it's got this. And unfortunately, um, unless they provide an update, there's no way to change this because it's considered an accessory. It actually uses the same menu system for the normal time here, which I've already configured how I want, but I can't change it. So just worth noting, um, a little bit annoying, but is what it is. But on the plus side, uh, when you've got music playing or anything like that, here you can see I can actually use the screen through this case. So um, for controlling music or anything like that, uh, you can use it as you would normally. And also, as you can see, this little circular thing, well, that's where the call button is. So when a call comes in, um, they've just made it a little bit easier to quickly answer that call. So some really nice touches there. Um, Overall, I'm quite happy with it. It serves a purpose, it protects the screen. However, to be honest with you, I would say for the money, it's, it's worth checking how much it would cost to replace the screen if you did break it, because um, I do find it compromises the usability of the phone. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subs button and smash that bell. And don't forget to leave a comment below. What do you think of this case? Is it actually worth it? Would you pay this much for your case? Or if you've already bought a case, what have you purchased and how are you getting on with it? We'd love to hear your feedback. Catch you soon, guys. Peace.